<laughs> um, where are we going anyways though? Are we supposed to be jumping down here maybe? Hello! Hi everyone. How art thou? This is the intro movie for Gran Turismo 7. I can't really see it that well, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the intro though if there's a Honda go with it maybe I have no idea what any of the options are or anything I gotta do uh, they have like this little arcadey music rally mode um, they have that so I played around with that while it was installing um, but it literally just finished installing like 30 seconds after I hit start stream so, we're just now getting into it. Like, I have no idea what's available, what's not available, all that stuff. No clue. Zero clue. What's your, what's your awesome idea? Wait. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that was the hero request. <laughs> okay, I mean... <laughs> I don't know if that's really like, uh... I don't know if that's really a hero per se, but you got it, man. That's fair enough. Add a command. I have an awesome idea. What's the... What's the quote that you want to trigger the command? Can you take away points from someone? No, I can't. Not on... Not Twitch's points. Like, if Streamlabs points, I can. Um, I can control those, but I can't control... Twitch's points, which we don't really do much with Streamlabs points. I do have it enabled. Um, like, we could do stuff with it, but like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> the car is the hero in this kind of game. I mean, fair enough, you know? Fuck, in that case, give me some time to think. I mean... You know the add a command thing? That's just where you do like the exclamation point something and it says something, right? That's what a command is. <laughs> uh, take as much time as you need, though. Oh, I bet you these graphics look really pretty. I can't really tell because for some reason my glasses are off my face, but you know. <laughs> for another uh, two minutes, I think. I was going to have you take points away. That's not how the command works, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, the command, you just hit exclamation mark something, and then it says something on screen. Like, there's a reply. Like, the commands don't actually do anything other than pop something up. Like, your pizza one? You have a better one? What's your better one? I mean, if you someone has a good idea for just something to spend points on, I'm willing to add it in if I like it. And it fits with the stream and isn't too disruptive, you know? So, like, yeah, but you don't have to pay for that. Scream? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> That's not the way the command works, man. It would just... <laughs> Chat would just say scream. Oh, man. <laughs> it does now? Oh, Lord. You know, I have neighbors. I can't just be randomly screaming all hours of the day. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny. Was dinner good? Dinner was very good, Noodle. Very, very good. Thank you. Do we really, though? I mean, yeah. It is true. Like, half of our neighbor's house is burnt down. I mean, the ones next door. Especially now that it's summer and, like, windows are down and whatnot. I mean, I can hear them fighting all the time, so... They can definitely hear. I mean, like... I'm not saying I have to be quiet or anything. Like, I could... I can get a little bit loud, but I can't just be screaming bloody murder all the time. <laughs> Last thing I want is to have the cops coming here or something because some random dude is screaming in his bedroom, you know, at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning or some shit. In that case, it's a call to chat to scream. Everyone scream. 
<laughs> oh, I have to add it in whenever I have my glasses back on, but yeah. Which, speaking of, has it been... Lose the glasses. It's been six minutes. Six minutes. Glasses on. Screaming at her dog to shut up. Yeah, I know. But, like, whenever we had the housing inspector at our house, we know for a fact people have had complaints around here because of things like their loud dogs and their loud children and whatnot. So the last thing we want is to want... Uh, the last thing we want is uh, to be added into that list of complaints that the housing inspector's getting. We need to stay on her good side. If possible. Do exclamation mark scream and have it say everyone scream. You got it, man. Yeah, I'll definitely add that in. That's no problem. Getting a message from the one you know across the street asking if you're okay. I don't think they know that I live here, to be honest. They might. I'm not positive, but I don't think they know that I live here. They've never said anything about being neighbors, at least, so... Anyways, that intro cutscene was kind of cool. From what I from what I could actually see of it. Half of it was just blurry. Uh, <laughs> but the other half looked pretty cool. You thought they did? They might. Like, I'm, I'm honestly not that sure. Welcome to... Uh, da -da -da -da. Hi, you must be stream. Are you ready for your new adventure? Yeah, nice to meet you. My name is Sarah, your guide in the world of Gran Turismo. Let me start by asking you. Have you ever traveled... Uh, I mean, I've traveled one. We'll say no, though. Or some. Not this one, though. The world of Gran Turismo is a world all about cars. The world is vast, rich, and in-depth. Sarah Q. Stream, let's get out there and explore the world. First of all, you need a car. There's a used car dealer that offers cars at reasonable prices. Let's go check that out. Now, before I do that, I should be able to go here, go to options. Um... Race difficulty demo. I have the race difficulty set to normal, by the way, in case anyone cares. Um, sound? Race sound? No, I was told by the internet that somewhere on here, here it is, broadcast mode. Yeah! There we go. Alright. Might as well record it, too, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, now that we got broadcast mode on, that should stop stuff from playing that we can't play. In theory. That's how it's supposed to work, at least. Um, oh, man. I need to get a new racing wheel. I have one. But it was made for the PS3, so I don't think it'll work anymore on this one. I need to get another one, though. Woo! No copy. Exactly, man. I'm so glad they added that in, because I guess it wasn't always a thing. Also, I was supposed to get a million credits uh, for playing before a certain amount of time, but I don't know if I actually made it because my game finished downloading like right after midnight and the cutoff was uh, 425. So <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. Like I was playing the game, but not the, the main game. There's the, the arcade mini game mode. All right, Nate, you around? Andy giving us some advice. When choosing your car, pay attention to the PP. <laughs> Always got to pay attention to the PP, man. This looks good for a PS2 game, honestly. Uh, that would be because it's a PlayStation 5 game. <laughs> uh, as in 425 is the last day or 424 is the last day. It just says like uh, that it ends on 425, so I don't know. Uh, when choosing your car, pay attention to the PP as well. It's looks and price. PP stands for performance and it indicates how fast a car is. It's pressed by numerical value. This includes engine power, aerody aerodynamics, handling, among other things. The higher the PP, the faster and stronger the car. Uh, word. Since you're just starting out on the adventure, it'll be good to start out with a Japanese compact car. Of the cars in stock now, that would be these three. The Honda Fit, Toyota, Aqua, and the Mazda Demio. So does that mean... Uh, you said Honda, right? So you want us to go with the Honda Fit Hybrid? <laughs> we gonna we gonna be racing the hybrid, boys? What's the PP on that? It's got it's got okay. It's middle of the road. It's a middle of the road PP. You know, it's not the biggest PP available, but it's not the smallest PP out there either. So like, okay, it's kind of weird racing a hybrid. It just feels weird for some reason. But like, 
So that's what you want? You want us to go with that, Nate? You chose it. Yes, until you can get a Civic? I, I, well, I mean, you only paid once, so. <laughs> I wonder if a Civic is uh, available at all. Nate and his Civics, yeah, right? Got the Honda Integra, we can't afford it, but is there any other, doesn't look like the car lot has any other uh, Hondas available at the moment. Ah, uh, dude, we can do wish lists. Aspiration, <laughs> naturally aspirated, what? What does that mean? I'm not that big of a car person. Uh, front, front, road card, hybrid car, whatever, fuck it, purchase, let's go boys, this is our car. You actually kind of want to fit? What's its uh, gas mileage, do you know? Just, like, IRL, just out of cur curiosity, like, that's how it gets its air. I guess that kind of makes sense. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. This collector level reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy lots of cars and raise your collector level. Picked out our first car. Congrats. Stream, this will be your first car. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your car. Q, 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 Q. We can do that. So basically it has no EC. Now, I think, he, I think uh, Nate means like how it gets its air for uh, like cooling the engine and whatnot go to the garage we can do that it's the garage place your car stores your car collection this is your home base when you where you can switch cars change settings or just take time to admire your collection you can also turn in tickets you want to race this year and receive bonus items as well once you've checked everything out let's head to the cafe next what kind of gifts do i got oh there there's my million credits dope Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there we go. Receive this gift. Yes. So there we go. We got a million bucks to buy whatever the fuck we want now, basically. <laughs> and this game here, if I remember correctly, starts with... Okay, there it is. 424, it says up in the corner. Um, so there's 424 right now, but there may be more in the future. Uh, some Gran Turismo games, if I remember correctly, have had like a thousand or something close to that. So I don't know if there's going to end up being that many in this one or not, but yeah. It's kind of insane, man. Uh, yep, so we can change all the settings in our car. You can save them under different sheets, so you can change, like, per race or whatever. Uh, you can also do Beyond the Apex to get more, like, information about it, so that's kind of cool. Oh, we can change our type of tires. Looks like we only have the one kind right now, though. What is ECU? Oh, okay, okay. That's like the computer or whatever for it. Turbochargers. So, I mean, we don't have any of this stuff right now to install. But, like, yeah, you can see it goes hard. <laughs> like, there's so much, so much stuff, man. Um, I don't really like how you go through the menu. I guess you just got to kind of, like, on this side, it's not so bad. Can I? Okay, yeah, no, I can go all the way over there to, to do it, too. Good gods. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, here's our parts. Welcome to tuning parts. Special parts you received as gifts are kept here, organized separately for each car. That's cool. But we don't have any, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Nice classy music. I mean, most uh, classic music is uh, uh da -da 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 -da, copyright free. Uh, what's it called? It's got a there's a word for it. Public domain. There you go. Cafe for car enthusiasts. People are waiting to meet you. Hi, people waiting to meet me in the cafe. Computer for tuning. There's a joke about it. If you see a Civic with a laptop, you already lost the race. I will have to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Special place where people who love cars, including car designers, come to visit. I think this is where the photo mode is, too. Maybe. Gran Turismo for a long time has had a really cool photo mode. And now that, like, ray tracing is a thing and whatnot, they incorporate all that to get, like, super nice pictures of the cars for, you know, for people that want to do that. Fancy coffee shop? It is. Not only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books, quote-unquote, for exploring the world. The menu book contains hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another ready for you. Start by choosing your first menu book. Well, there's only one option, so I guess that's the one. <laughs> Japanese compact cars. So that's our first uh, collection objective if we want oh okay so it's just those three cars the aqua s11 and the demio xd a touring 15 so a toyota and a mazda 
What are the what are the hints? Oh, okay. So like it just hints on how to get the card. Cool. I like it. I like it. First menu I prepared for you is all about collecting Japanese compact cards. Each goal is simply to acquire the three cards listed on the menu. You might have one or two of them already, but your work's not done until you've collected all three. You can receive the cards as reward for your performance in certain World Circuit races. An orange compass icon will guide you to races where the cards you require can be won. Be sure to come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cards. Good luck! Thanks, man. I appreciate the good vibes and stuff. Honda Civic for next car if it's there. Aight. Once we're ready to upgrade. It's gonna mess with our collecting. World circuits are now open. Let's go. Showcase now. See, I was I've been wanting this game since it was announced. But I'm not gonna lie. I was a little iffy about getting it because I read a bunch of stuff about it being like grindy as fuck, basically. Like uh they just like the, the amount of credits you got per race, like how long the races took and whatnot, just made no sense, right? It was just kind of ridiculous, and it made the gr game super grindy. And if you didn't want to put in, like, hours upon hours upon hours, it just wasn't fun unless you were willing to pay for credits, like real-world money for credits. Um, but they got a lot of backlash for it, and so they actually just put a patch out on, like, April 7th or something like that, not too long ago, that apparently has made it much better now. So... Fingers crossed that won't be much of an issue. Um, okay, so this one, it's pointing us here because we might be able to unlock one of those cars as a reward for doing that one. And it also seems like it will only let us do that race right now. So, <laughs> gift car, third place or higher. Okay. Um, oh, before I go into there, I should just make sure, by the way, go to options. I should have everything set... So, like, all the assists and things are off. Vibration function? Uh, yes, please. Strong, 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 strong. Okay, everything's, like, on. That's for the other stuff. Profile? Nickname? Reading? Social links? Huh, maybe that's only... Newsfeed? Milestones? I can't see what that says behind the... I'm gonna have to hide the chat for myself or something. Hold on. Uh, pure game view. Right click. Close, and then right click. Full screen, so I can see the whole screen, please, and thank you. Friends, gallery, milestones, new feeds, and notification. Bruh, what is with you and civics? That's a good question, Nate. What is with you and civics? Alright, yeah, I don't know. I was just making sure, I wanted to make sure that, like, I didn't have the... Um... All of the assist turned on, but I guess... I guess that just isn't a thing in this game mode. Maybe that was only in the other game mode. Suggested PP is 380. I don't think our PP quite meets that. No, ours is 328. Our PP is a little low for this race, but we're going to try it anyways. Worst case scenario, we lose. Like, it's... <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Oh, maybe it's in this setting. Yeah, here it is. Okay, it's in this, this one. So, transmission's automatic. Traction control is default, weak, auto drives off. I do have driving lines on, I do like those, but pretty much everything's on, turned off there. And I think that's good to go. All right, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be any good at it, but I do like my car to do what I tell it to do and not to just do whatever the hell, you know, they want it to do. <laughs> like. If I, if, if I fuck up, I want it to be because I fucked up and not because the game is doing some weird shit trying to help me out. I do really like uh, this game uses the triggers for acceleration. And I really like that it... Uh, like, uh, it, it adds some extra... Um some extra weight to the to the triggers to make it a little bit easier to to control your throttle so it's not just all or nothing because of course the playstation 5 has the adjustable triggers where they can just like lock it up entirely or add some weight to it or or you can even get like recoil and stuff in your triggers which is really cool um they didn't do like all of that but they did add weight so to make it easier to do like a half throttle or or full throttle or three quarters throttle or whatever instead of just full 
This is honestly fucking cool. Yeah, dude. I really, really like Gran Turismo games. Like, <laughs> like Gran Turismo games are my favorite non-arcade racing games by far. I, I've liked them for quite a while. And you actually, like, since it is geared a little bit more towards racing sim, um, you get negative, like, you lose points for, for running into other people and stuff like that. Like, you're supposed to try and and race proper not just you know go all out and then of course there's all the customization and stuff for 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 people who are really into cars which is you know cool for them for me i really like the the collector mentality of it too because i i'm a collector i like to collect things so having 400 different cars available for me to to collect or or more depending on the the game like that's i really appreciate that too like we actually got first place on our first race. I'm kind of happy about that. I, I only have the, the, the enemy, the AI drivers on, on normal mode. Uh, I didn't put them on hard or anything like that, but... Has good rock music, too. Bring Me the Horizon did the main song for this game. Damn it, you need a PS5. Is Skyrim on the PS5? Skyrim is on every console known to man. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get Skyrim for, like, a PlayStation 1. Uh, you know the Nintendo PlayStation that was never released? Uh, you can probably get Skyrim for that. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Clean race bonus. Oh, another thing that uh, Gran Turismo has been known to do. I don't know for sure if there is in this game or not, but I'm sure there is. Um, uh, endurance races, like real life, real time, 24 hour races. Like, it takes an actual 24 hours to, to do the whole thing. Um, stupid stuff like that they do, too, which is just, like, again, really cool for people that are super into into that sort of thing. But, like, hmm. It's also av available on a fridge and a toaster. A dumbed-down version of it, but yes. Yes, it is. You can play a version of Skyrim on your Amazon Alexa today. <laughs> Um, okay, another thing, yeah, so this mode here, uh, I believe uses, like, ray tracing and everything to, uh, to make it look, like, really good, too, and whatnot, but, like, I'm not that worried about it, other than the fact that it looks cool, like, whatever, or it looks pretty, I guess, but I'm not here to watch cars, I'm here to race cars, you know what I mean? It's fun to collect all the versions at this rate, it's just another thing to collect now, man. All the versions of Skyrim. Alright, so... Uh, da -da -da. Asia Oceanica. So this one here will get us the other car that we need. If we win. Which car do we want to take? So... Okay, the, the, the Honda is better than the PP. Or has better PP than the Demio. So we'll keep the Honda. Like... Can you actually play something on Alexa? Yes, you can play. You can play Skyrim on L A L E X A on Alexa. You you actually can. It's a like a text adventure version of Skyrim, but yes, they they did make a version for <laughs> for that. I thought it was a joke that they were talking about it like one of their E3s or whatever, but then they they turned it into an actual thing that you can do. I'm gonna turn the game down just a little bit. I'm gonna put it like. I was on negative three. I'm going to put on like negative five. There we go. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Like I said, it's like a text adventure version. It's not like full Skyrim, obviously, but yes. Oh, geez. Oh, God. There's the wall. <laughs> All right. We got some sharper turns on this one. I got to pay a little bit more attention. Wait, is the fridge and toaster thing real now, too? Uh, it's probably, like, Alexa-enabled ones you might be able to or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if, if someone has gotten Skyrim working on a fridge and or toaster, though. Come on, boy, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If I wasn't streaming, I might try out the manual transmission mode on here. So I did used to play manual a little bit. Oh God. Hi, Walt. My best friend. <laughs> and another thing that I really like about Gran Turismo games, if you're not good at racing games or if you're 
you know, newer to them or have disabilities or whatever, even though they do aim to be more of a racing sim, they have accessibility options. Uh, things like automatic braking, dry, uh, steer assist, um, all different kinds of stuff like that, which you don't have to use if you're if you're good at racing games or play a lot of them or whatever um but i like that the options there for people that might need it or want it uh because as much as i love hard games and stuff like elden ring for instance is a perfect example i love elden ring it's a ton of fun it's super hard but like i wish it had accessibility options for people that you know can't play you ban the automatic transmission how does <laughs> that's not <laughs> i'll allow it but that's not an automatic transmission like <laughs> or that's not a uh that's not an in-game action <laughs> but i'll allow it because whatever prize money plus 50 percent dope and that should complete our first collection which means that we can uh start another collection right i'm gonna take a drink real quick i am a thirsty boy Toyota Aqua S11. Very cool. Very cool. I kind of like that color of orange. Oh, we're stretching too? Okay. Okay. We'll do a little stretchy stretch. Oh. Gotta, gotta crack the back while we're at it, you know? You know? I ended up getting a camera, by the way. I just got to get a green screen now, and then we're uh, going to start messing with that. Okay, so, I mean, it's supposed to be for five minutes, but we'll probably just do, like, the next race. Um, because, like, yeah, I can't really, like, change it in the middle of the race or whatever. Nice, what camera? Just a Razer Keo. Nothing, nothing super fancy. I just wanted, you know, everything else that I own is a razor, so <laughs> I didn't see the the point in, in switching it up now. All right, uh, so let's uh let's go back to our cafe and see what the next collect collection book is. Student of Motoring History. Ah, oh, we get like a little picture whenever we complete the collection too. That's nice. Congratulations, you succeeded in getting all three cars. This completes this collection, and boy, have I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Let's talk later. Sarah says, let's take a good look at these cars and hear what Luca has to say about them. Listen carefully, it'll deepen your knowledge and just may lead to new discoveries. One star roulette ticket? I don't know what those are for, really. Menu book number one, collection of Japanese compact cars. Yeah, 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 I got it. And... You will be gone for a little bit. Well, damn, man. Hope you uh, hope everything's good. The term compact car is pretty self-explanatory. It refers to cars with shorter wheelbases and less spacious interiors. Their compact nature makes them quite agile, making them popular with new drivers. Japanese compact cars are famous for their technical prowess. For example, the diesel engine in the fourth generation Demio is considered one of Mazda's true masterpieces. There's also the third generation Honda Fit Hybrid which was the most fuel-efficient car in Japan when it was released. Finally, there's the Toyota Aqua, another compact hybrid. Rue, what the hell happened? <laughs> One moment you're playing Skyrim on Alexa, and the next thing I know, you're freaking out. What is going on over there, man? Uh, the Toyota Aqua, another compact hybrid that boasts great fuel efficiency and excellent handling. As you can see, many compact cars have ended up becoming all-time classics. Are they really all-time classics, though? Like... It had you kill your own adoring fan and he hugged you even when you were attacking him. <laughs> I mean, couldn't you have just like said no? I don't I don't get it. Oh, thank you for the pork rinds, love. Yes. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> love you. I noticed your cool car and just had to say hi. Hey Stella, you're looking good as always. She likes cars a lot and visits this cafe pretty often. It wouldn't let you flee. It wouldn't let me flee. My own adoring fan. I murdered him. Oh, Lord. You poor thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love talking all about cars at this cafe. The Honda Fit is one of Japan's most popular compact cars. 
By the time this third generation model made its debut in 2013, 2 million units had been sold in Japan alone. It is a perennial bestseller. From this model on, the Fit Hybrid began featuring a powerful engine. Which reminds me, have you heard of the Civic? It's another Honda Compact card. Like the Fit, the Civic is a front... Man, Nate's gone and we talking about the Honda Civic now. You see that? As soon as he leaves... <laughs> as soon as he leaves, we get the Honda Civic talk, man. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. As he died, he wished me luck. He was a true fan, a friend to the end, man. Like the Fit, the Civic is a front-wheel drive compact, and it drives just like a sports car. Cool. Uh, okay, so we just got to get tested at the license center. We want to try and get the B1 license. You don't need to collect any cars for this menu. Instead, I'd like you to check out the license center. Earning licenses at the license center is a great way to improve your driving skills, especially when you're struggling. Once you develop your skills, you can test yourself by going for gold in all the challenges. Start off by earning a bronze or better in the first challenge for the national B license. Once you score a bronze or better, come back and see me. You got it, buddy. I kind of like that the, the cafe works as kind of like a uh, a set of goals or quests or whatever, you know? Something to, to push you towards a, a specific goal in the game. It helps guide you along, which is definitely nice. Uh, used cars. I don't know if it's changed yet or if it only changes like once every day. Oh, no. They got new cars in stock. Okay. I, I don't know if it's like once every real life day, once every in-game day. I don't know how that works exactly. Is there like a uh, a way to sort to these cars? Doesn't look like it. A Porsche 911. Nissans. Fair Lady Z. I like the look of that car. I don't know what it is, but I don't know that much about cars. I know Ferraris are cool, right? People like and Lambos. Like those are some good things. <laughs> and there's the Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a uh, touring Honda Civic with a PP of 519. It's got it's got a pretty decent PP, you know. Mitsubishi Lancer, Nissan, Toyota, Toyota, Honda S200, Honda Integra, Porsche, BMW, Volkswagen. That's sold out already. Hmm. Firebird. I remember I, I I've heard of Firebird. Suzuki, Volkswagen, Fiat, Mazda, Toyota, Honda. Should we should we buy the Civic or should we wait for something better to come around, man? I don't know. Nate, man, you're missing the Civics. All the Civics have arrived and you are gone. <laughs> should we just... I don't know. Like, I don't know if there's different kinds of Civics or... Um, car type, hashtag professionally tuned. Yeah, I guess this one, because like it's a, a touring car and whatnot. That's probably why it's so expensive. Because of it being like, I'm assuming it has like some some stuff in it. Looking for help improving your track driving skills? Then look no further than this front wheel drive Honda. This EK version of the Civic Type R was made for people like you to shred on the racetrack. And because it has a low center of gravity, the car has very predictable handling, keeping you out of trouble. Its four cylinder engine delivers seamless power, making it easy for anyone to look like a pro on the circuit. This whole game just feels like an ad though, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll buy it. We'll buy it. Just to, to make Nate happy. Even though he's not here to see it happen. So sad. So sad. <laughs> hey, our collector level went up, though. That's cool, I guess. Is it just me, or does that font look a little uh, pixely? It does. Wow. I don't know if it's coming through on stream or not, but like on my screen, it's definitely like pixelated here, man. Like, this whole three, the level, all that, which I'm just a little surprised about. But, yeah, sure, we'll get in that car now. Which text, like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I guess I was pointing with, like, my actual mouse so you couldn't see. But, like, the, the big three that was in the middle of the screen and the stuff above it and whatnot. It's just a little, for a game of uh, this caliber, I'm just a little surprised, that's all. Look fine to you. Yeah, I'm sure, like, the compression of the stream or whatever was making it look a little bit better on for you guys than it did for me. I'm going to try a... I think Noodle said it's vinegar uh, pork rind. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know how I feel about that, Noodle. It's not bad. Vinegar and salt. Yeah, it's not bad. 
I, I think I prefer just regular pork grinds though. But like these are these are decent. I'm definitely gonna eat what you gave to me. Hi Daniel. Your coach for the natural bee license. You're also a Grand Turismo driver from the North American region. Be able to polish your driving skills here, starting with the basics such as going straight, turning, and stopping. Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you how to drive straight, okay? I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure this out, man. Driving straight sounds hard. When you reach that point, stomp the brake pedal until you stop. Alright. Cool, let's go. So we fucking, we zoom, zoom, and then we stop. Got it. Where is the stop? Okay, I see it out there. Cool. Got silver. That's all we needed. <laughs> oh, you thought they were good? Like I said, they're pretty decent. I'm not mad at them at all. I'm definitely going to finish the bag. All right, yeah, I mean, I mean, we get money, but it's hardly any money for the gold. And I don't think getting the gold actually does anything for us. I don't think. So, on to the next one. Oh, God, now I'm, like, wanting to keep eating them, but I am i can't. <laughs> oh, wait, do we get a car? It looks like we actually do get a car as a reward if we get all bronze and all gold. So, we probably will come back to try and get gold at some point. I told you they're good. B2 is starting and stopping too. Okay. All right. Faster car. Hit brake sooner. Got it. Oh, this is a fast car, ain't it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, still not, well, actually, that was just bronze, that wasn't even gold, or silver, son of a bitch, but whatever. I think my acceleration in the beginning was a little off. I don't know in this game if it's best to just, like, stomp it to the ground, or if you should try and, like, uh, ease into it. I'm not sure. Sorry, I gotta get a drink. I, I decided to eat one more pork rind. <laughs> but that one dried out my mouth a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right. On to the... Wait, how many parts are there? Oh, there's a lot. Um, I mean, we only need to do the first one for the thing. I'm, I'll definitely come back and do more of the those at some point. But right now, I kind of just want to do races and stuff. So... But we're going to see what the next thing at the cafe is, at least. Well done. You did an amazing job. I suppose you've already met Daniel and the other instructors at the License Center. Yep. They all compete in the Gran Turismo Championships. For example, Daniel, the instructor for the National B License, represents the U.S. You can watch the instructors in action at Gran Turismo Live. Now it's time I give you your reward. It's all yours. You've earned it. He gave me good wood. <laughs> Oh man, does that does does the good wood improve my PP of my car by any chance? <laughs> uh, anyways, a world circuits track has been made available. Brands Hatch and European Classics. Okay, what do we gotta what do we gotta get for that one? The Fiat 500, the Mini Cooper, and the Volkswagen 1200. Volkswagen Volkswagen. I like for you to collect classic European compacts. All three cars have built in Europe in the 1960s, and there's still much love to this day. Old-ass cards, huh? Part of their charm is their distinctive interiors, which are totally different to those of high-tech cars of today. Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. I appreciate you. 
How you feeling? You aren't a little compressed down there, are you? What? <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Okay, World Circuits. Go into the next race, I guess. I wonder if we can unlock all three of those cars through racing too, or if we'll need to... Good wood, PP. Come on, dude. <laughs> uh, you lost me. <laughs> um. No, I don't. I don't have. <laughs> I'm not feeling compressed down there right now. Okay. Your pants, you do. I know what you mean. I'm wearing loose fitting pants right now, anyways. So, anyways. Uh. Okay, so there's three different races we can do here. The two-lap one will give us 5,000 credits for winning. The five-lap one, which has a limit of 730 PP, gives us 105,000. Like, that's that's pretty cool. And then uh, the this two-lap one... Oh, I guess this one... Wait. Can we only use classic cars in this one, though? Car-type road car main rival car oh okay so we can only use a specific car or type of car for this one though um do any of these count as road cars okay that does does it like say somewhere or am i just an idiot oh i guess it's showing us all regulation compliant cars yeah okay so all of these ones here are are compatible um since nate's not even here anyways let's try the aqua I can make you feel compressed. Aw, oh, dude, some, like, compression on my head right now or something would be amazing, actually. <laughs> I like some good compression on my head. For some reason, it relaxes me. I don't know what's up with that, but it's good. It's good stuff. We get a rolling start. Number of laps, too. Let's go, man. Damage stream, pay attention. What do you mean? What am I missing? What'd I miss? The tent would still show? Is that what you're saying? Is that, is that what I missed? Because, I mean, I saw... Oh, we forgot to get a soap saver. Oh, God. I need to pay attention to the game is what I need to do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to smack into you. Holy hell. Okay, you know what? Let's re retry this one. <laughs> we need to get you one of those head things. What what head thing? All of the jokes? I saw the jokes. I was ignoring your guys' dirty jokes. You dirty women. Or, sorry, you dirty people. <laughs> dirty noodle, dirty roux. How about that? Holy hell, that turn is sharp as fuck, ain't it? Right off the, right off the rip. All right, gotta pay attention to this, to this race. All right, all right, all right. Just take, take this one slow, cause it's gonna wanna. Holy shit, dude! I don't know if I don't like this car or what, but like it is. It does not want to turn, man. This is this is this is not good. <laughs> it is it is not good at all. I kind of makes me wish I would have kept the Honda for this race, but I'm sure it's probably just it's probably just me. I mean, this is a little bit sharper turning than what we had on the other races. I think I just need to be a little more careful with it oh is there a thing that shows our 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 center of gravity or whatever holy shit dude i don't know it's uh it shows where our like wheel is i guess huh compared to center thank you for remembering me at least your folks still won't call you by your preferred pronouns my bad man i try to remember i, I slip up sometimes of course but i i tried to do better though Okay, we're in second place at least, as long as we don't like fuck this up. Holy fuck, dude. I feel like I got no grip in this car, you know? Sorry, right, sorry, right. we're going, we're going, we're going, and hit it, hit it, hit it, let's go. You at least try? Yes. I do, and I always will. Holy shit, dude, okay. All right, all right, all right, well, we're in second. If we get second, I think we'll be okay. Was this a... Did we have to get first in this one? I don't remember. Oh, we might be able to get it anyways. Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. All right. Don't fuck up this last turn. <laughs> as long as we don't fuck up this last turn, we'll be okay. 
Okay, I mean, we fucked it up pretty bad, but can we can we come out of it at least and pick up some speed? I mean, our car, I'm pretty sure it's faster than theirs. Yeah, we're good. We're good. He's all the way back there, dude. We got it. We got it. I mean, it feels a little cheaty. We're in like, what was this? Like a 2012, 2015 car or something like that. Their cars all look like they were, well, classic cars. <laughs> like from the fucking 60s or some shit. They got cars from like the 1200s over here. I'm joking. I know they didn't have cars in the 1200s, okay? Oh, yeah. Got that gold, boy. Let's go. And we're already almost back up to a million credits. It's almost like we didn't even buy that one car, the Honda Civic. So that was the Fiat. I have no idea if I'm saying all these uh things right, by the way. All these other car things. Car, car brands. All right, close. I don't, I don't need to rewatch the... I was in the race. Why would I need to watch the replay of the race, man? All right, so we got that. So we could, we could go for one of these now. I kind of, there's no PP limit on this one. I want to try, I want to try the, the new car that we got. Oh, wait. Oh, is it still only, it must still be like a limited number of cars that you can use or something. Car type, yeah, it still has to be a road car, not a race car. That kind of sucks. Uh, but whatever. Can we play around with... Oh, dude, that's got a PP of 81. That's such a tiny PP, dude. I'm going to I'm gonna try... I'm assuming it's the same track. I'm going to try it again, but with the but with the Honda Civic. Or, I'm sorry, the Honda, Honda Fit. To see if maybe it handles a little bit. A little bit better. At least a little bit better for me. I was gonna try that, that Fiat, but man, with only 80 PP, like, there's no way we would win. Like, <laughs> it's like, there's no fucking way, dude. Okay, so, a little bit better, I feel like, in this car. But yeah, that is just a hard turn. Like, I guess, I mean, it is like 90 degrees, isn't it? And looking at the map a little bit more, a little bit more up there. Yeah, it's it's just a sharp ass turn. Fair enough. Fair enough. Although, because I do still feel like this car handles a little bit better than the than the Demio or whatever the hell it's called. But I could be uh I, I could be just imagining that or something. What record are you listening to, love? Oh, you're bringing them up. Okay. Well, thank you. You gonna put them all in front so I can get to the new ones easily? Thank you. Yeah, I feel like we're doing a lot better this time around than we did with the uh, the Demio or whatever. Even though this one technically has a smaller, smaller PP. <laughs> oh, there it is, bottom left-hand corner. I was looking for like where the info about the cars are. Oh shit! Oh shit! Sharp turn! Sharp turn! Stop looking at the car damage thing. <laughs> Pay attention to the road. That was a mixture of going too fast and also being like way off driving line. That that led to a, a, that that time. I see our fuel gauge is down there too. That shouldn't really matter for like these shorter races, but during longer races, you do actually have to pay attention to that. And like the 24-hour races and shit. Oh my god, you know, you gotta have whole pit crews, man. <laughs> And just like they do in real life, it's recommended that you have, like, a few different people to race with and you swap off at different times a day. Or for different track conditions. Like, if you have people that are really good uh, at racing in the, uh, in, on wet uh, track, then you can have them do that. And then whenever it becomes sunny again and everything starts to drive out, you can have, like, your dry guy take over, etc. That's another thing that I was really excited about for Gran Turismo 7, actually. They uh, overhauled the whole weather system. So that, like, it actually simulates weather, semi-realistic, like, weather patterns and things. And applies them to the, uh, to the race world. Which is pretty cool. So, like, you can get random, uh, bouts of, of rain and, and shit. Alright, what time? 
It's 56. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take a short break. And then we'll be back for just a little bit longer. I can't go too much longer because Noodle and I are going to have a bit of a movie night tonight. And with it not being a scheduled stream night. But uh, yeah, so we'll probably go for like another half hour. Um, but regardless, though, I need to take a break to stop an ad running in the middle of the stream, as well as just get myself to, you know, stand up, stretch, do all that fun stuff. So we'll be uh, right back, guys. Actually a little bit lost. But yeah, so so that was fun. I got that thrown in there. I thought that would be a fun, a fun little thing for us to do. Um, then we have the community event, which you can donate up to 2,000 points a day uh no more than that and like i said if if we hit the goal on that one we'll be doing the 12 hour stream in a month or so i forget exactly what i have the goal set on that one i can pull that up though if i go into my settings here let me pull that up before i forget we have do 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 not leaderboards not tiers Oh, where is it? Channel, maybe. I don't think it's under channel. Stream? Oh, I... Where is it? There it is. Channel points. Rewards and challenges. Yeah, it's a 12-hour stream. It is already started. The goal is 35,000 points in the next uh, 30 days. So... It's a pretty big goal. I don't know for sure if we'll hit it or not, but fingers crossed, man. And I, I believe in y'all. Some of you guys have so many freaking points that it's insane. And there we go. Already got the first 2,000. Thank you, Rue. I appreciate the uh, the donation of points there. And uh, yeah, I'm sure like with the last one, Nate uh, donated a, a shit ton towards that one as well. So I'm sure once he finds out about it, he'll probably be up there. And uh, Noodle, I'm sure, has a crap ton of points. So I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up donating a lot as well. But, uh, yeah. I think we'll hit it. I tried to make sure it was something attainable. But I didn't want it to be, like, uh, too easy. Because the first time I just did, like, 12,000 or something like that. For the first 12-hour stream. And it ended up being, like, way too easy for, for Nate to <laughs> get all the points in there that were required. And, yeah. So this one, this one hopefully is a little bit more of a challenge for y'all. Why can't we go in here? Oh, we can. We just needed 200 red orbs. Dope. Let's go. What if we didn't have 200 red orbs before coming in here? How would we have gotten through this level? I don't actually know. I like how we're using, like, Ifrit gauntlets. But then our, our we can also, like, use our heel. Like, our, our foot also catches on fire. <laughs> like... Does it, did it, I guess it just, like, bestows us with magical abilities in general. Less than, like, the gauntlet that themselves just have magical abilities. So I guess it's more more along those sort of lines, maybe? That makes sense. I just like the gauntlets because flames. I mean, that's fair, man. <laughs> flames are pretty cool. I... <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I've mentioned before how I had a, uh, an unfortunate house fire when I was younger. And while, like, obviously I wish it wouldn't have happened, uh, I will say that, like, <laughs> pig-ass bonfires, they're pretty as hell. Like, <laughs> like, it was terrible. Obviously, I wish it never would have happened. But, uh, man, yeah, it's like, it was pretty as everything was going up in flames. <laughs> what do we collect? Devil Star. So we get more... Uh, no, that's not the one that gives us more of the devil thing. It just refills our, our devil mode, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Ooh, that was a weird little secret area there. Just had red orbs rain down from the sky. My head kind of hurts today. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I just haven't drank enough today or what, but used 100 red orbs. I'm, man, they're going to... Steal all our damn red orbs. Your Helps if you go to the right screen. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm back. Hello. Hello and uh, welcome. Welcome, friends. 
ready for some more Gran Turismo 7 action. Let's fucking go, dude. Uh, I guess we'll just go right into the next, like, win a car style race or whatever. Because I don't think we're going to win this one unless category GR3? Racing car. What is GR3? So we can use a racing car, but... Oh, oh, okay. Those are like... Those are some some high level cars only. Okay, yeah. So we're <laughs> we're not doing that right now. That's for sure. Oh, so this is this one here is just what three fifty or less tire choice sports. It has to be sports tires, <clears throat> and I can't buy. I don't think I can buy car parts yet. Can I? At least I haven't seen anything about that yet. Whatever. We'll just we'll just do this. <clears throat> go right into trying to get the Mini Cooper S 65. I guess maybe it's having us do all these ones because like these ones are kind of useless. <laughs> I mean, they're not like useless. Obviously, if there's like a race made specifically for these, uh, these cars, then they're going to be useful. But for the most part, like not so much. You know what I mean? Like they're just way too, too low performance in my opinion as a definitely not car guy <laughs> who's messaging you what are you talking about oh did you hear my phone vibrate or something did rtx voice not cut that off that's a problem i hope rtx voice is still working because i have like the air conditioner on in the background and shit Oh, you heard, you heard the vibration from down there? I don't know. I can't see who's messaging me right now. I'm in the middle of a race, you weirdo. Why are you being so nosy, huh? It didn't come through on the stream. Okay, okay. So, yeah, me worried for a second that uh, my RTX voice was messed up, man. I don't want, like, the air conditioner and shit coming through. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> a little, little bit of a, a slidey slide. Uh, also, this is just like a big open field in the middle, man. Is that what racetracks are like in Europe? I'm only used to seeing like NASCAR tracks, you know, and they definitely do not look like this. Man, I really want to get like an actual racing wheel. Someday, someday, I, not anytime soon or anything like that, but someday I want to get like a full racing sim thing, like the kind where you sit down in it. And uh, it has, like, the force feedback on the controller, and it jerks you around and everything whenever you crash. Like, whenever you turn to the left, it tilts you to the side, and when you turn to the right, it tilts you to that side and all that stuff. I think that would be so freaking cool, man, not gonna lie. But, like, they're kind of expensive, though. And, uh, yeah, I don't have the money for that. Buying this game was like, oh, boy, do I do that? That's a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like... Getting a whole racing sim going is a whole nother thing. BRB Rue, no problem, man. Take your time. Take your time. But it would be like a ton of fun, you know what I mean? Like to actually feel the car rocking side to side while you're racing and have the wheel fighting against you as you're trying to turn it and all that stuff. I feel bad for going off track so much, but like... I'm not trying to. It's just this course is uh, putting me through the ringer. Plus, these guys are surprisingly far ahead of me. Like, I'm trying to get at least second. I would like first, obviously, but I don't think we're going to catch up to that guy yet. Plus, I just need to get used to this, to this uh, track. You trying, to, you trying to cut me off, bro? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, we're good. We're fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, man. I was worried we were going to go, like, way out into the field there for a moment. But we're good. I'm glad we haven't had to deal with any weather effects yet. So once the weather effects start happening, man, I'm going to be screwed. Like, you put some water on the, on the track, and I'm going to be fucked, man. There ain't no way I'm going to be able to handle that. Where would we put that thing? Very good question. I have no idea. But, like, it would be a lot of fun, though. We'll put it on the other side of the bedroom where I want to put, like, bookcases for, for games and books and stuff like that. 
instead of putting that stuff there, we'll just we'll just have a full racing sim get up, dude. Like, <laughs> it'll be fine. And you can get some uh, driving practice in it, Noodle. So you can experience driving without getting your license. It'll be great. Uh, I feel like I need to go a little bit slow. Okay, or just ram the wall. That works too. Sorry, it looks like we're probably going to get second. Assuming my car can speed up a little bit here. Holy fuck. Nope. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I think us going off track so much might have uh, wore down our car a little bit or something. It seemed like we were having some acceleration problems there at the end. But we pulled second. I think that's enough to get the car. I think. Get the car at Goodwood. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, cool, cool. So now we need is the Volkswagen 1200. I wonder when we'll unlock the ability to buy like aftermarket parts and shit for our car. Uh, exit. Not going to retry right now. I will worry about being a perfectionist at some other point in time. Right now, I just want to unlock some stuff and have some fun with it. Third place or higher? Okay. I don't know, man. What kind of what kind of track is this? There's a lot of straights. A couple turns. I think I am going to go ahead and go back to the Aqua. The one that has a slightly higher PP. You have experience driving? Yeah, but I'm saying you can experience it more, like whenever you want to experience it, without the risk of killing yourself or someone else. I mean, I guess you could still like kill yourself on the racing sim, like if you were if you wrecked straight into a wall and then like got yourself flung from it and like fell on a fork or something. I don't know. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, why does it take us right into like giant turns in these races, man? Alright, we're gonna retry gonna retry we're going straight into a big turn i need to i need to pay attention to that all right so take it take it slow right here we don't have to we don't have to speed right into it here we go here we go here we go okay hit it overtake one or two people and then start to slow down slow down faster faster okay good 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 and hit it hit it hit it all right, we hit it a little bit too soon there, maybe, but it's fine. Oh, nope, another another turn. Holy shit. Okay, this is a little bit windier in practice than I thought. I thought these uh, straightaways were going to be a little bit longer than they are IRL. That's my bad. Your new soap dispenser is filled, and uh, the tea canisters are washed. Hell yeah, I'd love you are having a productive night, aren't you? I need to stop going off course. I'm glad that it's not like disqualifying us for going off track. I can't remember which Gran Turismo that was, but I'm pretty sure that used to be a thing in Gran Turismo games where you would be penalized for going off track. Maybe that's only like in the higher level races or something like that. I'm not sure. All right, we're in what? We're in third? Oh, fuck. Yep, we were in third place. Um, yep, 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 okay. Oh, buddy. We need to get some off-road tires if we're going to spend that much time off the road, you know what I mean? Anyways, <laughs> I was going to say, I think we only had to get third to, to get the car, which means that we should be good for that, at least for finishing our collection, but <clears throat> with the way uh, I'm racing right now, I'm not sure if that's true. All right, focus. Just got to focus. Hey, Rue, welcome back. You haven't missed much other than me going off the road too many times. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got it. Where's the finish line? The finish line's coming up, so I don't think I'm going to be able to overtake first in that time, but we should be able to keep second. Focus, gotta focus. Oh, hey, Rue. Also, hi, Noodle. <laughs> Look, 
I can focus on two things at once. It's fine, okay? I'll take my second place. I'm happy with second place. Considering we're still a newbie to the game, we have a limited car selection. And I went straight into having all the assists outside of the line turned off. Well, and like the anti-lock brake system I have turned on and, and stuff like that. But that's like stuff actually in cars that help you do things, you know? Like, I don't think there's something I can put in my car that will break for me before I go on a turn. Although with the newer like electric cars and Teslas and all that sort of stuff, there may be actually. But anyways, let's go back to the cafe, see if they have anything else going on for us. That's a pretty shot. European Classics Compact. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your European Classic Compact collection. Once you've collected your rewards, you've got some stories to tell you about these cars. Got another roulette ticket, some more maps. The tuning shop, there we go. Hey, Stella, you got anything else to say? Aqua is marketed as the Prius C. Oh. Yes, I know what a hybrid is. Car that runs on two power sources, gasoline and electric. Electric motors are great for accelerating and they don't burn, burn fuel. By balancing engine and motor power, hybrid cars offer a very efficient driving experience. They do. They do. See what I mean about the whole game just feels like an ad, though? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, they're really peddling some of this stuff here, man. These cars here are some of the most famous in history. It's a truly wonderful collection. The world's first motor cars were produced around the end of the 19th century. But it wasn't until the 20th century that mass production became the norm. This meant that nearly everyone had access to an automobile, not just the select few. Back then, many small simple cars were manufactured and priced affordably, so nearly anyone could purchase one. It'd be nice if they still did that sort of thing, you know what I mean? Making this all possible were ingenious engineers and visionaries who created icons such as the Mini from the UK, the Fiat from Italy, Honestly, like, why don't they still make these little tiny, tiny cars? I guess some people probably do. But, like, just make some tiny-ass cars for people that don't want to spend a bunch of money on a car, you know? Like, labels ordered. What were the labels for again? I don't... Oh, for the T and stuff. Okay, 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 okay. The Volkswagen Beetle from Germany. These cars certainly left their mark on automotive history. Perhaps I'll tell you more about them next time. Thanks, BB. Championship High Speed Ring Track Day. Finish in the top three. Okay. So we need to do like a, a big boy race now. Entering a championship. The High Speed Ring Track Day is now available in the World Circuits. Go ahead and sign up. You have to do more than just complete the race though. I want to see you finish in the top three. Show me what you can do and I'll get some exciting new menus ready. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. So that means we probably need to stop by the tuning shop too, right? See if we can spend a little bit of our money on uh, making our ship beautiful. Also, what is this? I mean, it's very pretty, whatever's going on right now, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is it showing off, like, the, the tuning shop that we just unlocked or something? No, this is, this is a racetrack. Oh, that was, like, the intro for the book. I was like, holy hell, dude, I don't know what's going on right now. There's 64 of them, so we can use them on other canisters and stop mixing up the rice. Yes, that would be nice. Tuning shop is now open. Let's check that out before we do the race, man. Welcome. You must be Stream, and I, that I've been hearing so much about. I'm Rupert, the owner of this tuning shop. Hi, Rupert. My shop offers a variety of tuning parts to improve the performance of cars. Parts on the shop are divided into five categories, from sports to extreme. Take a look through the tabs above. If you've just begun your adventure, then you'll be starting with sports parts. I also offer drivers with high collector's level more sophisticated tuning parts that match their level. See that you've upgraded your collector level. From here on, I can sell you club sports parts. We've even got power restrictions and ballast for lowering your PP. Very nice. We're going to be organized adults. Flex. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, I imagine we should at least get some, like, some sports tires, maybe. Let's start with medium. Right? Wait, does that only fit that one specific car? Can I, like, how do I change my car? Or do these parts, like, are they universal? Uh, guys, help. Help. I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Screw it. Tires are cheap enough. I'm going to buy the sports mediums. And then we'll see once I switch my car if I can get the uh, get the other one. Yeah, dude, there was a Civic. We checked out the used car shop and there was a Civic available. You missed it. You're asking us? Yes, help. Someone. Right there, Civic Type R. We already bought it, though. <laughs> we bought the Civic. We haven't had the chance to use it yet because it's a racing car. Um, and we've been doing only like street level stuff so far, but, but yeah, we, we, we got a civic. We bought it. Okay. So like, I can't get what help you're expecting all the help. I'm surprised that like the tuning shop doesn't have somewhere where you can mess with parts. At least the loading times are a lot less than they were back in the day, you know, so we can get between the different stores really quickly. Here, you can have a uh, better look at our at our uh, Civic here. Is this the, the Honda section? No, that's... Oh, these are by country, by manufacturer. Noodle's not good at games or cars, sorry. Unacceptable. Ford uh, Honda, Honda Civic Type R. There you go. Original tuned model created by Gran Turismo based on the Honda Civic Type R EK 1997. There you go. That's what we got, man. It's been professionally tuned, apparently. I can't wait until we actually get the chance to uh, to try it. Because so far, we haven't been able to actually like use it at all. Okay, so we bought tires when we had the Aqua S equipped. But now, if we switch over to the Fit, which I like the drive of a little bit better like the handling of can i change the tires to sports no so it seems like it seems like they are unique to the car either that or i have to take them off the the aqua first current car change yeah, yeah, yeah. car settings so if i take them off of here and put the comfort medium back on uh, on both, please. The front and back. Don't don't change one without the other. And then switch back to the other car. Does that unlock it? I'm assuming we have to buy it for the specific car. But if that's the case, which it is, okay. If that's the case, it would be nice if we could switch our cars in the tuning shop. That's the the one feature so far that I would that I would request. Like. Also, we need to get a, uh, we need to remember like oil changes and things are a thing here that we got to do at some point. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do, let's get some simple stuff, right? Let's get the, the, the tire package for our, for our Honda here, since we're probably going to be using that a fair bit. Let's get a power. No, we don't want a power restrictor or anything. Um, two way LSD. What is LSD that operates during both throttle on and off. Learn more. You want a baby? What? <laughs> we just don't know shit about cars. Fair. Me neither. That's one of two cars. You want for the sake of fun. The other is a 1967 Chevy Impala. Oh, it's an Impala. Got it. Got it. Baby. Supernatural. The LSD works when you're accelerating and decelerating, so it'll feel like the car doesn't want to turn. This upgrade makes the car super stable, but harder to handle. Oh... It's well suited for drifting, which is all about controlling the car when it's not balanced through the corners. Got it. Okay. So what's the one-way LSD? Does that do best for gaining traction at corner exits? Cool. Okay. So we gotta we gotta pick pick our things here. Bore up. Increased engine displacement offers superior cost performance. Let's uh That'll take our PP up to 381. What about the sports suspension? Because wasn't there like a regular... Yeah, there was street suspension. Let's go straight to sports, maybe? Let's go ahead and purchase that. And then maybe get the... Uh, the sports brake kits, of course. Like, better brakes are, are just better. Um, Sports clutch and flywheel. I mean, that's that's always good. Like, I can't think of any time where having a better clutch and flywheel would be a bad thing, right? And then, I mean, weight reduction would probably be good in general too, but it's kind of expensive. 
Ah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go all out. It's our Honda after all, right? We're all we're all about the Honda. Do we Does it pay to get both or do we just need to get the highest stage we can get? This process removes you more unnecessary components such as interior parts and panel soundproofing and undercoats. This can only be done after you Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so so it won't let us do it until we do stage one. That's fair. Weight reduction one, purchase, and then weight reduction two, purchase. How much money? We're already down. We've already spent like a hundred grand. I'm glad we got the free million because otherwise we'd be fucked. <laughs> you will always take a Chevy Camaro from 2010. Katie likes your keyboard, love. That's good. I'm glad she likes it. I need to play with that still tonight. Like, want to try it out. So have you liked it so far? The car or the game? The answer to both is yes. <laughs> yes, the, the game has been a lot of fun so far. Um, and I tried out the other car, the Aqua, which had the highest PP. And honestly, like, it was fine. Um, but I think I liked the Honda Fit a little bit more. Perfect gearing for low to mid-speed racetracks. So these here are situational, right? This is high-speed tracks. This is low-speed tracks. So we're going to have to like switch that up depending on, on what we do. I wonder how the miles will come into play. Like, will there ever be a time when like you just have to completely retire a car because you, uh, because you've raced it so much that, that it has like 200,000 miles on it and, <laughs> or more, you know, and it's just like going to blow up. Championships consist of two or more races. The final standings will be determined by the total number of points earned for your performance in each race. You cannot change your car in the middle of a championship, so make sure you choose carefully before entering. Finish high enough in the championship standings, you might even win a new car. Who has the championship? Which one? Oh, championships are down bottom. Okay. So it has to be a road car. Um, A Civic Type R, just a regular one, though. So that'll be one of our main rivals is a Civic. Everything else looks like we could probably handle it. Let's just give it a try, I guess, you know? High speed ring? With all those turns, I don't know if that's a high speed track, to be honest, but it says it is, so sure, whatever. <laughs> let's, uh, let's enter it, man, let's go. Let's give it a try, why not? Oh shit, it's getting a little bit later than I thought it was, but that's fine. We'll, we'll finish up this championship and then we'll, uh, and then we'll call it a night on Gran Turismo. Starting with a rolling start. Starting in first position? Really? Huh. Or does that mean we're all just like tied for first in points? Yeah, okay. Because we're, we're not in the front. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're actually in eighth. <laughs> that sucks. Whatever. Do you have your pre-op appointment tomorrow morning? Yo, congrats, man. You excited for that? All right, focus. First turn is a long, slow left. So let's keep an eye on that. We might be able to take it full speed. Uh, Yes, yes, we can. But I need to take it a little bit less sharp, I feel like. All right, and then come out. Yeah, boy, let's go. All right, this turn is significantly sharper, so let's start slowing down. Okay, maybe I slowed down too much. Oh, it's banked. It's banked real hard. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dude. Now I see why it's a high-speed course. Because it's got, like, proper banking and whatnot to let us take these turns at high speeds. Uh, nope, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was all on me, though. I could have taken that a little bit slower and, slower and then not have gone, like, off track. And that probably would have, uh, saved us from s losing some, some ground, some traction. This is, this is a pretty nice course, man. I'm liking it so far. What does... Oh. 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 That's interesting. I was seeing what, like, the D-pad did. And uh, the D-pad changes, at least when we press right, it changes the, the HUD in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm not sure exactly what the different options are. Okay, so that's, like, a radar. 
is that topography? That's our lap times. That's like that. I don't know what up and down does. Left also. So oh, okay. Course map, radar, weather radar. Holy hell. Session best, TCS. I don't know what TCS stands for. Does anybody know what that is? Sunday should be PS5 day if podcast doesn't happen. An awesome room. I'm down with that, man. I love playing games on the PS5. I don't honestly get to play a whole lot of... I don't have a ton of PS5 games, but, like, I'm fine with playing some games on it when the podcast doesn't happen. Short update on that, by the way. I got to see uh, my co-host today, Jonathan, today. And the baby. Baby's adorable, of course. Um, but I got to see Jonathan as well. We're going to hit this wall. We didn't hit the wall. What? Anyways, uh, back to the point. <laughs> I saw Jonathan. I spoke to him. He said that he's... Uh, you know, he's taking time, spending with the family, doing doing well and all that stuff. Uh, but he said that he misses the podcast and he wants to get back to it. And uh, he wants to get back to it before he, like, goes back to work proper. Um, and hopefully next week, this this uh, this coming Sunday. Not today, but, like, next Sunday he would like to, to do it again. So any PS2 games that you guys want to see us cover on the podcast that I own on my list... Um, now's the time to to speak up because i need to uh i need to tell him what we're what we're going to talk about we'll probably be talking about ghostbusters because we've been putting that off for like ever um and then we need like at least one other game odin sphere rugrats it needs to be something well i guess i've played those games recently so like i could but odin sphere might be a problem just because any game that uh that we're going to cover i'm going to have to give to him to borrow which means I may not have it to play on Saturday. Um, Rugrats we could do. I, I don't have a problem letting him borrow that one. It's not like we're playing that on stream right now or anything. Odin Sphere I might be able to do. Um, but I would have to like talk to him and make sure that he can uh, play it and then give it back to me before Saturday. In that case, Rugrats, Nick 2 game, let him experience that. We can put it on the list as, like, something to do at some point. Like, <clears throat> the, the the Nicktoons one. If we did the Nicktoons one, though, we would probably want to, like, sit down and do it together. Also, I just got a message. Was that, was that one of you guys or someone else? Oh, is it raining? Why does it look like it's raining? No, 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 no. Are you sure you want to retire? No, don't do that. Don't, don't be raining. Yes, the Nicktoon. Wait, so does that mean you want to, like, see the Nicktoon one more than than, than Rugrats? <laughs> In that case, Rugrats, Nicktoon game. Cool, I'm so happy he was able to get fraternity leave. Man, that was probably the hardest part for me when you had it. Oh, I can imagine, dude. Like, that really has to suck. I think it should be required for for businesses to offer maternity leave to, uh, to new fathers and mothers, both. Like, it's kind of ridiculous that it's not uh, the standard. Oh, we are sliding so much more, man. Holy hell. Okay. I'm glad we got the sports tires. I, I imagine that helps somewhat. Um, I don't know. Welcome to corporate America. Yeah, but still shitty. Like, Rue doesn't really like Rograts, so of course they would choose Nicktoon. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, God. Yep. That's, that's a wall. Hi, wall. I hope I, I hope we can be good friends because that probably won't be the last time we're seeing each other. This is my first time experiencing rain in this game. Thank, it's not as bad as I was thinking it would be, to be honest. But also, we're not going, like, super fast right now either. So there's that. So what do we want to see, guys? Do we want to see Nicktoons or Rugrats or something else for the return to the podcast? I don't really care, to be honest. I can do any of those. You got stuck in the hospital for a while. You only got to be home for like half a week before you had to go back. Time you did take off, send us back already. Yeah, that's another like issue. I'm pretty sure at our job it's paid leave, which is nice. Um, but I'm not 100% positive on that. So it seems like the rain stopped, which is nice. But this guy is like actually pretty fast, man. Like, we're, we're not catching up to him, are we? Holy hell, okay. Okay. 
respect, you know? We got one more lap to pass him, though. Give Dorse the option and see what he chooses? That's not a bad idea, honestly. I mean, we can cover both of them eventually, of course. Ah, uh, that's where my, my superior brakes come in play. I was able to get deeper into the corner. Ah, uh, but I wasn't able to pass him. He must have some either really good acceleration or maybe I took some damage. I feel like I probably took some damage at some point. Was I pressing the brake? I think I was pressing the brake that whole time. <laughs> that's, that's probably part of the problem. The left trigger just feels a little too sensitive, man. Oh, yep. Hi, Wall. I told you we would be meeting each other again. Yep, yep, yep. I think that's the same fucking wall from last time, too. Come on. Gun it. Go, 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 go. Overtake him, dude. Come on, man. Oh, my God. I need to be faster. Faster. I should have put that high-speed uh, gearing kit in here. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Carr. I didn't actually mean to hit you. I promise. I try to race with integrity. You triggered Google? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay. Google. <laughs> Anyways. Dark Cloud, you're curious what the door stakes, uh, what take is on it? That's another one that I'm totally down to do. You got food poisoning once and got yelled at for it? Yep. I know that sort of feeling, man. The whole reason why I'm not a manager anymore is because uh, I was getting calls during my dad's funeral um, from work asking me when I was coming back to work when they knew I was taking time off because my dad had just died. Or the closest thing I had to a dad, at least, my grandpa. So, like, yeah. Work sucks, man. You had to use unpaid leave for your ship. Trash, trash. Yeah, my workplace just started getting a uh, paid leave for fathers. I want to say like, it's been a little while now. It's probably been like four years or something like that. You'd be kicking and screaming, telling them to fuck off and learn some damn respect. I mean, I took the time anyways. They were pissed and tried to give me a bunch of points for it when I got back. I fought it and got most of the points removed, not all of them. And then uh, about a month after that, I told them that I was quitting. And they didn't want me to. Offered me the chance to step down while keeping most of my pay. And so I took that. Like, whatever. Lose the responsibility, keep most of the pay. I'll take it. So that was seven grand. Not bad. Not bad. High speed ring track day one. All two races. You were number one overall. That's an additional 15 grand. And we got a Suzuki and a Honda. Two Hondas. Dude. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we, get, we only get one of those three cars, I guess. Left, right, or center, guys. Left, right, center. I think two of them are Honda Civics. One of them isn't. You better pick well, Nate. <laughs> what are we picking, guys? Middle? We got one vote for middle? What is it, what's everyone else saying? We pick a middle? You got about 20 seconds to vote. 18? 17? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, two votes for middle. I think that's going to win. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, fuck. If it's not a Honda Civic, dude. 3, 2, 1. Middle it is. Left. It's 2 to 1, man. That was the Suzuki. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there was only one Honda Civic. It was a Honda Integra Type R, a Honda Civic Type R, the, the street version, not the sports uh, or, or racing version, and then a Suzuki Swift Sport 17. Wow. Uh, you're feeding and medicating kitties. You're stressing me out. You poor thing. I'm so sorry. Well, sorry, Nate. <laughs> At least you picked a Honda unlike the other two. <laughs> yeah, but that Integra, though... I mean, at least it's not like those cars are lost forever. It just means we don't get them for free. We just have to win them or buy them some other way. That's all. So that's not bad. Bedtime? Yes. I am going to go to the cafe to see what they have to say. And then we're cutting the stream. 
because uh, Noodle and I are watching a movie tonight. I haven't decided. We haven't decided what movie yet. It might be the new Batman movie, although from what we've heard, that movie might be a little bit long. So maybe, uh... Oh, I forget the name of it already, man. The Ryan Reynolds movie on Netflix, maybe that one. Or maybe the uh, the Red Panda movie on on Disney+. Plus. I don't know. Congratulations on your victory. Brand Central is now open for business. Brand Central offers 21st century production cars and race machines for purchase. So that's where we can buy new cars. Cool. Free Guy? No, we've already seen Free Guy. Uh, this is That's on Disney+, Plus, anyways. This is a Netflix uh, movie where Ryan Reynolds is a time traveler and meets himself as a kid. Pavilion has been made available. Japanese sports cars? Dude, that's that should be cool. So we already got one. Oh, there you go. We have to get the other two as part of our collections. So we'll be getting the other two very soon, hopefully. For this menu, we'll be collecting Japanese uh, front, front, front engine, front drive. Is that what that means? Front, I don't know. The engine is mounted in the front of the vehicle and provides power to only the front wheels. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. Front, front. <laughs> Japan has produced many sporty FF cars. Collect three of them and come back here when you're done. Sony watch Red Notice too. Isn't that the Red Panda one? Or is that... Which one's Red Notice? Brand Central is now open. Let's see what the new cars are that's available real quick. This is Brand Central. Brand Central offers new cars from around the world produced in 2001 or later. Ryan and the Rock and some chick... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we do need to watch that one too. Some brands also have their own museum. Uh, have a look around. Okay, we're not going to dig too deep, but I at least want to see, like, what cars are available. Nice to meet you, Shreem. I'm Martin, your car advisor. If you wish to know more about a car, I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks, man. Wait, we have an invitation? Aston Martin? Wait, what's an invitation? I mean, that's that's a sexy car. These are both sexy cars. I don't have that much money, though. You have an invite that allows you to purchase a special car. Oh, so they're... Okay, so they're like... Uh, they're like uh, demo cars or something, but because we're like professional racers, we get to buy them? Is that, <laughs> is that how that works? I don't know, man. That's neat, though. America, we got... Uh, what kind of Fords do they have? You got to go, guys. Have a good night. You too, Rue. And Turning Red, you're right. That is the one. Have a good night, man. I will see you in a couple days, probably. Mustang GT, dope. Uh, really, trucks? We can we can race trucks. Ooh, that's a nice car. These these are these are all nice cars. <laughs> the Ford GT. I fucking love the Ford GT, dude. Just like from looks wise, I know nothing about the car, but I think it looks so fucking good, man. Love it. Oh yeah, good luck tomorrow. Definitely, definitely, dude. I hope that goes well for you. Uh, I don't even know what, like, half these brands are. Gretti? That's an American car brand? Their official site? Wait, is this their website? <laughs> it is. Okay. Huh. Weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know what those cars are or those brands are or whatever. Uh, anyways, Asia Pacific though. Here, here would be the Hondas. What do they got for for Nate? N absolutely nothing. Oh no, here we go. Okay, <laughs> a Fit Hybrid, uh, Civic, Civic Type R. There you go, Civic Type R Limited Edition. Some uh, an SX Honda Sports. That one looks pretty cool. Oh, is that like a, not an F1 car? What are those called? I don't know. But anyways, that looks pretty neat. Okay. That's cool. We'll definitely have to take more of a look at that at some point. Is there somewhere where it says, I guess maybe the used cars update in real time? Like in, in, in real, real life days, I'm assuming. Because I can see up in the corner, it's using real life time up there. Like... That, uh, the listed yellow one is the one you want IRL. Let's take another look at it, just because you said that. Oh, is that the, the museum over there? Showcase, okay. Yeah. Brand Central. 
This isn't the game that one band did a song for, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Bring Me the Horizon. I was talking about it earlier. But, uh, yeah. Bring Me the Horizon did the, uh, like, most Gran Turismo games had this, uh, Moon Over the High Castle or something. I forget the name of the song. But anyways, Bring Me the Horizon did the version of it for this game. Civitype R Limited Edition FK8. That's the one that you want IRL. What color? What color do you want it in if you if you were gonna get it? Oh, there's only one color available. Damn, never mind. It it does look really nice, man. Like <laughs> it's a very nice looking car, I'll give you that. Holy hell. Man. If only if only we could get that one, right? <laughs> it only came in yellow with red. Oh, probably because it was the limited edition one, right? That would make sense. Uh, what's the PP on this one? It doesn't tell us, does it? Oh, 517 out of the box. So that's better than our souped up other one out of the box. Dope. Yeah, we'll drive that one around for a little bit, man. And then I got to stop blowing money on, on random cars so that I can, uh, like actually upgrade ones and win races and stuff. Music Rally, by the way, is the like mini game mode where you can play like different, uh, races with different songs and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know if any of this stuff is copywritten music or not, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that right now. But it's kind of neat. You you race to uh, and instead of like having a timer, you have a beat countdown, and whenever you pass checkpoints, you get more beats of the song, and your goal is to survive until the end of the song. And uh, your sub goal is make it as far as possible. So yeah, that's cool. You forgot a Billy album down there? Well, then you'll have to bring it up, won't you? It also was top on some big time street courses and all. That's sick, dude. That's really cool. Yeah, we'll race with it for a little bit. It looks like a nice car. Anyways, guys, uh, I am running late for the night. Noodle and I need to watch a movie, and I still got to get a shower and do all that sort of stuff. So thank you for hanging out with me tonight while I played a little bit of the new PS5 game that I got. Uh, join me on Tuesday, not not tomorrow night, but the night after for something. I don't know what yet. Some sort of PS2 game as part of the PS2 gauntlet. And I uh, look forward to the new My Tits video that should be out on Wednesday, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, I have it like 70% of the way done. It's uh, it's coming along well for the most part. I like it. I'm trying something a little bit new with it to spice it up just a little bit more. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that too. The first one did relatively... I'm sorry, not the first one. The second one did relatively well, uh, all things considered. So like, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I just wish I could pump them out a little bit faster. But anyways... That all aside, thank you again, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good night and bye-bye. Losing some pretty valuable stuff like a Bible.